Welcome to the throwdown, y'all. It's time. Um, if this is your first time here, what are you doing? Welcome, I suppose. Uh, this is the segment of the show where we put two things into an arena and we decide which one would survive a battle to the death. And this week, in honor of our, uh, our topic, we have a couple to choose from. And I think... Because the, the, the council was like, listen, it's hard to choose. Here's a couple to choose. They're going to they're gonna let us choose, Justin. I think um, perhaps of the three that Slotty gave us, I like the one that you liked. And All perhaps right. we could we could give that one a whirl. So this week's throwdown <laughs> is 11 versus Hermione Granger. Oh, mm-hmm. wow. So That's I'll say this. One. I'll say this. Hermione's at a very big disadvantage here. Do tell. Because she has to use a wand to cast magic. And we've seen Eleven tilt her head and people's neck snap. So. But. <laughs> do you think Hermione. You can cast spells to protect yourself from initial hits from things. Those spells might wear off, but it might buy Hermione just enough time. That is very true in that it, it depends on what she... I just feel like Hermione's walking around with those spells on her all the time. She's just <laughs> she's the prepared one, right? Like, she's she doesn't leave the house. Like, she does her hair. She gets dressed, pours a cup of coffee, douses herself in spells, and then <laughs> walks out the door. I, I think that's a great way of looking at it. And I think you make a good point, too, because we've seen, and I'm assuming this is obviously not Hermione Granger in her first year. This is going to be Hermione yeah. Granger, like, fully realized, oh, yeah. where we know that later on, uh, you don't actually have to say the words to cast the spells. You can cast them with your mind. Right. Um, and if you're well-practiced, which I would say Hermione is, she's been through a lot of shit, just very quickly can cast Protego, or whatever spells she wants. And we know that Eleven does take a bit of a warm-up to get going. When it comes to using her spells, she has to focus. Um, when she's in the element and the bloods are running out the nose, she can go down real fast. We've seen her do some pretty crazy, but they have to, she has to sort of like get her get it 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 primed to the pump and she has to get going to move to be able to do that sort of stuff. So I'd say in that moment. That gives Hermione an opportunity to be defensive or offensive, depending on how she wants to do it. Beth, what do you think? It's a toss, this is a toss-up for me. Could go either way. All right. <laughs> um, it was, it was I'm sorry. Either way. It could go either way. <laughs> Beth wants to be very non-committal about it. I mean, this is a game between two teams. I mean, it could be anyone's game. Who knows? Well, the one thing though with Eleven is she like she gets exhausted, like she'll mm. exhaust herself. Um, whereas I feel like Hermione may not. That's well, a good they point. Said, they even said someone made reference to Eleven being like a battery. I don't know if that was season mm-hmm. two or four, but they were like she she loses her charge and she has to re she has right. to power back up. Yeah, right. Whereas I feel like Hermione <clears throat> doesn't have that same. So I'm gonna go Hermione. Interesting. I like it. I like a decisive answer to that. Yeah, I think um, that's a good point that Eleven does have to recharge. Um, Mm Because the question here, too, is how effective are spells against Eleven? It probably depends on what kind of spells they are because how much of her psychic powers can she use to deflect or block? But at the same time, like, I don't think telekinesis can block a polymorph spell, you know? Like if Hermione's like you're a ferret now, and she turns into a ferret, you know, like right. Does- I mean, we've seen Eleven counteract other telekinesis, mm-hmm. force versus force, but is a spell, yeah, like is what type of energy is coming out of the wand, right? Is it the same as the telekinetic energy, or is it some sort of other? I mean, I have to assume it's some sort of a mystic energy, right? In order to not fall into the same trap that Marvel does in fights, I'm going to say it's two different things as opposed to being two same things. So, okay. 
Um, I would assume well, Marvel fall into that. With- well, it's like they're 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 you know the, the most of the fights between the villain and the hero are usually just like they have the same powers, like Hulk versus yeah. Abomination. In Ant Man, it's like Ant Man versus whatever the fuck that guy was, the, the Hornet or whatever he was. Yeah, whatever you know, it's like a lot of that is kind of how it ends up. It's That's you know fair. Obadiah versus uh, yeah Iron Man versus Iron, Iron, Iron Man. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. Shang Chi is like. 10 rings versus five rings versus five rings and martial arts. Right. Like it's kind of the common thing that happens with that. But I, I think I want to say that I think that the magic <laughs> wand is, is a different property and the speed at which people can cast is pretty quick. I mean, I would mm-hmm. say it's pretty close to like drawing a gun, like in a Western mm-hmm. and firing and how quickly they can make that stuff happen. Again, if we're talking like, the arsenal, the 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 things that are at Hermione's disposal, spell wise, are incredibly right. like just. There's something for every situation. I mean, imagine right. if she does a a mind spell, right? Right. Just completely wipes her mind. Like she could do that real quick. Um, yeah. She could she do. Could create, she could create something that changes the environment, mm-hmm. uh, like a reality spell, where right. all of a sudden Eleven's seeing, you know. Demo bats flying around her or whatever. Hundred um, percent. She can obviously, if she wants to go real dark, just cast the death curse. Um, and I don't know if Eleven can block that. Um, That's true. She could, you know, uh, torture her. Um, you know, she could do Imperio controller. Like she gets off any number of these spells. Like you get it, Doug. You know all the spells. I mean, there's <laughs> Reducto. Crabs. You know, there's Levy Corpus. Uh, I've just been rewatching these shows there's Corpus recently. Christi. There's Corpus Christi. There's, uh, yeah, right. there's there's all sorts of stuff. There's Wingardium Leviosa, you know, not Leviosa, you know, big difference. Um, so she, she yeah. has so much at her disposal and all she needs is a fraction of a second to pop it off. So, and Hermione is incredibly intelligent incredibly mm-hmm. intelligent we see she's a great problem solver and 11 to me is a lot like captain american that she's got one note which is smash right. um right. you know and that's not and her fault 11, right 11 also plays on tilt too yes she can, she can be emotionally compromised pretty like she gets ang- like she gives into her emotions she's very animalistic in that because that's how she was raised she was raised right. essentially as a lab rat so that's kind of what she right. knows now to be fair when she gets that rage up destruction can follow but right. again, she has to get there, and right. yep. if you know, and not only that, I mean, are we saying Hermione can apparate? Because if so, just she doesn't even need a wand for that. That's right. real. That's just oh, mental. God. I think I know what we're calling this one now. Yeah, it's got to be that, Hermione. That was, that was the 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 key for me. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. it's got to right. be Hermione. All right, Hermione. <laughs>